Alright, so this is probably the 80 billionth time I'm actually recording this. So hopefully this time something won't go wrong. This is my video for the 90 billionth time of um, the games, my favorite games, on my Android device thingy. And uh, now my Android little tablet thing is uh, across the room right now and I'm controlling this from my computer so it's you know just thought it would be fun to do <laughs> um, so this is Sonic CD I think you know what Sonic CD is uh, maybe uh, yeah it's a really fun game so definitely worth checking out this is Shine Runner it's basically like Hydra Thunder but kinda silly um, fun check it out this is Doom Glass. Uh, it's basically Doom with added effects. You add your WAD file, and it kind of you play it with like you know extra lighting effects and uh, some you know water reflections and stuff like that. You know, so yeah, it's cool. This is CS Portable. It's actually Critical Critical Strike Portable. It's free. Uh, it's an online shooter. Uh, it's a tribute to uh, Counter Strike. Uh, yeah, so and this is Sonic 4 Episode 2, which is a fun game uh, on console or anything. Yeah, so it's Sonic and stuff. And this is Mame for Droid. This is a Mame emulator for arcade games. Uh, I was able to get uh, Mortal Kombat 1 running on it, and I also have X-Men on it because I bought the X-Men app, and the controls are terrible. And when I run it in this app, it runs fine, so I don't know. This is GTA 3. Um, it's GTA 3. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 3. It's a fun game. Check it out. Uh, this is FPSC. It, it's a uh, PlayStation emulator or the PlayStation 1. It works great. Uh, it runs every game I put into it. It works with light gun controls, um, you know, with t using touchscreen. It emulates the light gun stuff, gun con. Um, you know, it's a really good emulator. It also supports OpenGL, but it's not very easy to use, and I wouldn't recommend even bothering trying it. Uh, so this is NBA Jam. Um, even if you don't like sports at all, this is worth playing. When I first played NBA Jam, I hated sports all around, and I love this game. So, you know, definitely check this out. It's um, it's not like the old. It's not exactly the old one, but it's like it, and it's very fun to play. So check it out. Yeah. Uh, this is Shadow Gun. It's like Gears of War. Uh, the Gears of War games, it's got console quality graphics, it's a shooter like the other shooters they've been releasing constantly. But, you know, if you like those games, it can still be fun. Check it out. Uh, this is Duke Nukem 3D. It's free, but I think that's because the controls kind of suck. So, but for free, check it out, I guess. This is 3D Chain Fire. Um, it's not a game, but it helps for get your games run faster, smoother, whatever. Uh, maybe looking nicer. So we're going to go down to some other games. Uh, if I can get it to do that. La 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 <laughs> Hey, go up. Damn it. Alright, so this is the Mega Drive emulator. Uh, for Sega Genesis and Mega Drive games, and I think it works for Master System. Not sure. Um, yeah, I think I have. So hold on, I'm itching myself. I think I have some Sega Master System games in there or something. I don't know, but yeah, it works very well. It works with uh, Justifier and uh, the other like gun, uh, but. Um, it's kind of like there's no start button, so if you die, you're kind of... it's over. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, but it works really well with other games. This is Minecraft Pocket Edition. 
very fun game. Definitely pick it up. Uh, Minecraft is awesome, very addicting. However, they are um, right now. They're waiting on an update 4.0 or 4.0, whatever V, whatever. Uh, but uh, it's taking a while. But it'll be here. They submitted it. It's fine, whatever. But it definitely needs more content. And that's what kind of we're waiting for. This is on live. Don't pay for it. You can use it for demos. Don't pay for it. <laughs> it's fun to see on a tablet, but or an MP3 player or something. But don't pay for it. Um. This is Riptide GP. It's a boat racing game. It looks really good, but it's a boat ra it's a boat racing game. There you go. It's fun. Uh, it's a boat racing game. This is an NES emulator. NES is one of my favorite consoles, and um, it works really well. It works with the Zapper. So get that now. I'm I'm waiting. Get it. <laughs> this is Speed Car. Uh, basically very addicting game. Uh, it's a top-down kind of... I don't know that i call it a racing game. I don't remember. Um, but uh, very addicting. That's all I could say. I'm not going to explain it because I'm too confused. Uh, it's also free, by the way. This is Gloomy Dungeons. It's basically in vain of old-school DOS first-person shooters, but I don't know that I really love it. It's not horrible. It's not you know, terrible, not great. I, but it's cool to see how they did it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, this is Dead Space. Really nice graphics. It's got the mechanics and stuff of a shooter. It works like a shooter. It's a shooter, like a lot of other shooters. But, you know, if you like them, pick it up. Worth checking out. Uh, so we're going to go down. Okay, here we are. This is the end, uh, I guess. Uh, Wave Blazer. It's, uh, a lot of people didn't seem to like it, but I think it's really cool. It's like Hydro Thunder. It's got those old school Hydro Thunder glass glasses? Graphics. And it plays like Hydro Thunder. It has touchscreen controls. It's got uh, everything. So it's fun. I, th I like it. Um, this is Jewel Lust Light. It's like uh, Bejeweled which I like Bejeweled. Uh, even though I'm not the biggest puzzle game fan, I think it's very addicting and definitely worth checking out. Uh, I have the light version. It's not the full version. Blah, blah, blah. Um, the next game is FL Commando. It's a free shooter game, but uh, it's a lot easier to use on, like, say, an iPod or a phone or something with a smaller screen. Um... So you don't move around that much, so it, it's just kind of optimized more for touchscreen controls than a lot of other shooters. But it works well on little devices, and it's free. They're in-app purchases, but it's fun. Check it out, whatever. Ground Effect Pro, whatever XL, blah blah blah. It uh, it's a some kind of racing game. Supports Anaglyph 3D. Um, it's it's fun, but you know, could use a map because uh, you get a little confused at where you're going. Um, yeah, it's very kind of the way they have it, the track set up. It's very confusing as to where you're supposed to go. Um, D Gunners, it's a mech game, which normally I don't like mech games, but this one I really liked. I thought it was really good, and I really like the way the controls are set up. I really think a lot of shooters should be set up just like that, because a lot of times you go to press the shoot button, you know, the button to shoot, and you miss it. So, you know, that doesn't happen really in this game. So, I thought this was really set up well. Uh, definitely worth checking out, and it's the demo right now. But I'm gonna be getting the free, uh, the whole, <laughs> the full version. Um, the next game is Dead Trigger. I've posted footage of that. It's a first-person shooter, console quality graphics. You're shooting um, zombies. You do like missions and stuff. You finish the mission, you go to the next mission. It's apparently there's a story. If there is, I missed it. Um, it not must not be that good. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, I mean, if again, it's a shooter, like a lot of other shooters. But uh, if you like that, it's definitely worth picking up. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing about the in-app purchase stuff. Uh, it's kind of silly, but um, it's not that expensive. It's just uh, 
I don't know. I won't get into it. It's silly. Um, then we have Angry Birds. I don't care about that game much, so it's not one of my favorite games. <laughs> I tried it out. It's not horrible, but, I mean, it doesn't deserve what it got. Uh, uh, maybe somebody... I guess other people think it does, but uh, it's not my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm probably going to delete it, but, yeah, that's that's really it. That's that, and uh, while well, I'm at it, if I can actually get up here, there we go, we'll pull up some Minecraft stuff, so... Maybe I can show you my little, uh, I'm waiting on a, on a, what's it called? I'm waiting on a, uh, you know what, I'm, instead of going to shit land in the survival mode, I'm going to go to fuck town in creative mode. Um, if I can get there. There we go. No, not create new. I want to go to fuck town. It's not easy. So here we are in fuck town. I can't get hurt in fuck town. Um, basically this is, um, my little thing in Fucktown. I'm kind of waiting for something, uh, so their, their updates and stuff, but I made this little thing, I, to show you my bad version of a creeper, uh, hey, what the hell just happened? What the fuck? Uh, I guess I'm gonna die soon. I fell in the hole and I can't get myself out, so, oh yeah, no, you know what? I forgot. I can kind of uh, go up, uh, maybe, if I can get out of here, um, maybe, I'm trying, go up, no, I can't get out, I need to get out, <laughs> I'm gonna die, well, I can't lose anything, that's good. Uh, whatever, I'll get out later, but this was... I was trying to show you the creeper, but uh, I'm fucked. Whatever, I'm dead. I can't get out. <laughs> whatever, um... That's, that's it. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching the video, and, uh... Yeah. Minecraft. Can't wait for the friggin' update. Goddamn motherfucker. Goddamn it, son of a biatch.